Hall of Famer in the NFL, Jack Lambert, and O to be 21 again. Only problem for Saban is he doesn't remember those playing days much because he's getting too old. That's what he told us this week, at least. And that 1972 title is special not only because it was the school's only championship, but the social setting on that campus was extremely fragile. The May 4th killings of the four students of the Vietnam protest was only two years prior in 1970. The entire experience molded Saban the rest of his life from his mindset to philosophies. Being a part of that team affects everything he does as a coach today. We actually, being a part of Don James's program, uh, a bunch of guys came together and did a great job of uh, winning a championship. And that's not something that you ever really forget, uh, how special it is to be a part of that. And each one of the ones that we've been a part of since, because of the great group of people, whether it was coaches, players, uh, the togetherness, the team chemistry, all those things are what you always work for and are always proud to be a part of. So. Um, it really means a lot. I know when I watch film and I see that little banner they have in the end zone, it says 1972 Tangerine Bowl. Reminds me of something that, um, and the players that did the work to do it. So, and the coaches, and Coach James and the great leadership that he had as a coach. A golden year for the Golden Flashes in 1972. They started the season awful. One three and one in their first five games. But then they won five of their last six, and this was much bigger than football. We spoke with Gary Pinkle, former Missouri coach, vital part of that 72 team, about why the title meant so much more. It was huge for so many ways. You know, Ken had been so down for so many years. And you know, Don James was in there in, in, in 1971, right after the May 4th shootings. You know, a time when you can't, you know, the worst time you could ever recruit to be there. And uh, you know, he came in, and here we are a couple of years ago, 1972. Um, you know, and we, it was just, it was just a remarkable group of guys that, you know, believed in Don James and believed in what he was doing. You know, he came and changed everything. 